which yeah. I think is I think is that in every single country, no matter where you go. And I think one sure. important thing that we need to discuss and talk about is men need to have a code to vet no matter what. Let me play this. This is her again, and she's talking about uh, the reasons, beliefs, is experience a man shortage. So let's find out what reason this is, and then we go on to the next topic real quick. My name is Miss Honeydee, and these are the reasons, beliefs, is currently experiencing a man shortage. One, a lot of a man that are jail right now. Two, a lot of lazy, and they don't want work. So then they all just saw the sleep it next man for money. And then they have the audacity to turn wrong and compare what connot to a man whole. What you gonna say to my letter? Then see they believe young man could do with a good woman for years. And then at a blink of an eye, they get a state married to an American. We don't know how it happened. They just jump, they just pack up their clothes and left the house. And all of a sudden, they did a state. For a good amount of them, they did some crime and violence, but the crime and violence don't really hurt, I believe. But, you know, like, as a young male, if they live in a certain area, they could not even affiliate with the gang in a certain area. But because they come from that area, when they go in a different areas to like pass through different areas to go to school and stuff like that, the boys from their other areas were well, like harass them and stuff like that and beat up them and stuff like that. So, what do you think what a young male will do? He will end up to join the gang in his area for protection, you know? So, that's the one of the reasons why a good amount of Belizean men know they're both like that, like that. That's the reason why we have this shortage. So I think she said it right there, right? I think I was right about the violence, right? So the gang violence is killing all the, all the, all the pros, all the, all the men. That's what it is right there. The gang violence. It's not them leaving them. You know, there's probably some good women over there. It's, it's they really got a man shortage. The crime. What do you say about that, Walt D? She said a lot of things. Yeah, she, think... said, she said the men were, hold on, I'm sorry about that. She said the men were were of alternative lifestyle, right? She did mention that. She said the men were in jail. And then she said the men were lazy. And then the crime. So th those are the four things she said. Go ahead. Yeah, well, what I'm getting from it is that it's a little bit of both it's the women and the men what which mm -hmm. i think is i think is that in every single country no matter where you go and i think one sure. important thing that we need to discuss and talk about is men need to have a code to vet no matter where you go that if you have right. the right vetting process then you'll be able to separate the truth from half truths from lies because right. you have some women that will tell the truth like in anywhere you go and then you'll have some women that's telling the half truth and then you have some that's like and the only way you can tell the difference between all of that is if you vet them properly and i believe it i i, I mean i believe some of it to investigate it because alternative lifestyle that's been a political thing everywhere that, that that they're trying to spread the alternative lifestyle and force it on force it worldwide like that there's little rich people that that's trying to do that so okay i believe that um yeah in in a country that doesn't have a lot of money you are going to have a lot of men that go to jail you are going to have a lot of men that's violent but now on the other end of it we need to see Okay, how many women are actually supporting these men? Because uh, in places like Belize and Nigeria, I get some of the women saying, like, hey, you know, you got some of these men 
that's being raised under a lot of single mothers like how how it is in america Come on. and what's happening is that they're growing up a certain way or you have some men that's raised from polygamous households of men who aren't responsible like you and me and they have to figure it out on their own and a lot of times they look at tv and things that feminize them and so then they'll behave differently from the way that they're supposed to behave when when vetting a woman or treating a woman right that's why they they cheat a lot some will start lying a lot and become a womanizer so it's both on 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 both ends even when i i even saw it firsthand for myself when i went out to nigeria i asked my wife i said hey are they supposed to be acting like that and my wife was like, hey, you know, so some of them are raised by single mothers and some of them are, are um, even if they're not single, their their father was polygamous, but they wasn't responsible like you are. That they, they might have been the eighth child or the ninth child or or they might have been the first or second child that they wasn't really putting all their eggs in one basket on. And so I said all that to say this. It's a whole bunch of branches going on. If we have the proper vetting process as men, we should be able to sit back, evaluate something, and then take action. If you don't have the right vetting process and you just take everything in your ear on the surface, then you'll be in trouble. Facts. Facts, facts, and more facts. I ain't got nothing else to add to that, man. I think Walt D summed it all up for us. Let us know what's going on. You know, she did talk about lazy man and she did talk about that Bucci. She did talk about that. So, uh, you know, uh, yeah, that's crazy. You know, uh, Belize, I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if we want to send a thousand men down there. I don't think it's safe. First of all, I don't think it's safe. And uh, uh, y'all have to figure that figure that out on your own. That's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs>